Well, hey fuckers. Happy Taco Tuesday. It's time for your collective. So tap that screen, baby. It's time. All right, now, let's tap that screen. See what's going on with y'all. Wow. First card out the fucking shoot just dropped right on out as I was shuffling the twin flame card, y'all. Happy Mercury retrograde. Twin flame divine connection. Right off the fucking bat. <laughs> All right, just kidding. All right. All right. All right, we got, ooh. Okay. So, a twin flame who is keeping secrets, lies. Okay. Now, not necessarily from you. I mean, it could be from other people. They could be lying to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But they're very apologetic about it. They're very sorry. They're feeling like they're not feeling good about it. So this might have already happened. Okay, safety, comfort, family, security here. Okay, so whatever happened had to do with a family, safety, and comfort. So, um... Mm, some kind of lies. I'm smelling a third party situation. Okay. Ex lover, old spark. So this is definitely somebody from your past. This is definitely something that happened in your past. And whatever this happened, your twin flame is feeling really bad because they lied about some shit. And now they're feeling very sorry. And this is definitely someone you have sparks with. Holy shit, do you have sparks? I just got chill bumps. <laughs> this person makes you fucking blissfully happy. Oh, there's the chill bumps again. Whoever this is in this collective, use your discernment. Keep scrolling this thing. If, but look, <laughs> this is somebody in you. Somebody that's watching this shit. You know it resonates. You know it does. Tap that screen and make sure you comment when it does, okay? Oh, two sex. <laughs> this person is so very apologetic. They feel so very bad. They're watching you like a hawk. They're watching social media. You're wa they're watching you somehow, possibly peeking in your windows at night. Maybe watching you come and go from your house. Who knows? They watching you some way, somehow. Okay? And by watching you in some way, shape, or form, it has given them some sort of a perception change about themselves. Almost like a spiritual awakening, but an introspection re realization, like self-awareness. And they're very apologetic. They've seen the error of their ways. And you make them very blissfully happy. Wow. Yeah, this is a divine connection. This is an important connection. That's confirmation. Um, oh, I just got chill bumps again. <laughs> like I said, this is a very important connection, very divine connection, okay? This, this connection is like from past lives, that important. Like, you guys have been together in many, many lifetimes. I don't believe in lifetime. I don't believe in that. Okay, that's fine. He's scrolling. I get it. Like, look, I ain't mad at you. Your beliefs are your beliefs. 
but I believe in past lives and these two bitches were together in past lives. Okay. Now you guys have disconnected in some way, somehow, whether it's a physical distance, no talking communication, no communication, or just like giving each other the silent treatment every day. Whatever the case, there is a serious distance here, a serious disconnect. Okay. The connection ended for some, for what, whatever reason it ended. Okay. Um, <laughs> you don't need to see my trash can. <laughs> All right. It's time to surrender to the connection. Spirit just saying it's time to surrender to this. It's this, this is the time in your lifetime. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. It doesn't matter. This is the time in your lifetime that it is time to take that leap and surrender to the divine timing, to the divine path, the connection that was meant to happen. And that's why you have a spark with this person like no other, with no other person. The spark is, you've never felt this kind of spark before. And it's a, it's a spark of electricity that just pours through your fucking veins to the point where it just electrifies you and it makes you feel more alive. You've never felt more alive in that moment than in any fucking moment, whether no matter what you're doing, sex or otherwise, the best sex you've ever had does not match this electrify, this electric feeling that you get just from one simple touch with this person. That's a twin flame. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you've never felt it with anybody else in your entire existence of life. Ever. Do you hear me? Ever. And you know it. Now, like I said, there have been some outside influences in this situation. There's a family here. There might even possibly be a third party outside influences. Okay. Um, that has caused a lot of this pro a lot of the problems of miscommunication, misleading and that sort of thing. Um, but just by watching you listening to you in some way, I, I feel like there's this person and you have some sort of a connection and this, you could be on like social media posts and stories or whatever. This person could be watching your shit, uh, constantly, at least trying to kind of, keep up with Kardashians with you, only keeping up with you, um, on a daily. And yeah, spirits are showing there's no contact between you two. So there's some sort of a ghosting situation here. That's double confirmation. Um, there's a physical distance and silence between the two. So you're not communicating. You don't see each other, but somehow or another, this person is watching you, seeing you. And by watching you, and seeing you on a daily, they're learning little by little that these other these other influences, other things that's being said to them has been nothing but lies. And I feel like they believed them for a long, long time and now know that they were wrong. And I think they feel very sorry for that. And now they're really, really sorry for the disconnect and the distance between the two of you. Yeah, see, broken trust. Yep, <clears throat> this is a third party situation. Wow, and this person might be married. Yeah, you're gonna hear from this person. This person is gonna re reach out to you and let you know how much they're thinking about you, how much they miss you, how blissfully happy they are with you or around you, being able to connect with you in some way. Now, there are some sort of legal disputes, um, legal matters that this person is fearful of and I think that's a lot of the reason it has to do with watching you. Um, I think they're paranoid about something, which I don't feel like there really is a reason for them to be paranoid, but they are. Okay. Um, I don't think you're going to do anything like that, but it, they're, they're watching their back. Okay. They're watching their P's and Q's and making sure that if they do hook up with you, that they're not going to get hurt in some way. So they're on their guard. Just like you are, but y'all yeah, gonna fuck. Oh yeah, you gonna blow the fucking roof off the house. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. 